members, not members acting in office. No. Members of the public, sir. Not any official acting in an official capacity as an officer. In other words, you're not a member of the public while you're sat there. Absolutely. I, I didn't say I was a member of the public. So can we just get on with it here, please? <laughs> you're going to sure you're not going to video the whole of the meeting. Well, of course you're going to video the whole of the meeting. They're entitled to. And they can blur out faces. They can blur out faces if they need to. We'll let them do the public. Yeah. Carry on. Carry on. We'll be here. Yeah, at the moment, so. Right, right. Well, it's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Yeah. This meeting is adjourned. The gentleman the back is refusing to comply with the video and the whole meeting. Steve, I'm not recording it. It wasn't recorded. Steve, we've got to do that. No, it wasn't recorded. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the gentleman at the back. You're not at the back. You're not going down the middle. The gentleman at the back is videoing the meeting. No, 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 it's ceased. It's stopped recording. It's like miscommunication. Sorry, we've ceased. We've not got it. Okay. Yes. Uh, declarations of interest to the council have a declaration of interest. Have a look down. I was involved in the purchase and placement of the uh, station garden.
anybody that's in this room, please do not go down and cause any ruckus of any kind. That's all we need. We want not the parish council, because they were always telling me it was nothing to do with them. We want Derbyshire County Council to come and put, take that last you, you may know who it is. No, I don't have well, this There's only one man that kept us and walking along the, the footpath with his lines and so forth, and that was Mr. Bailey. Now, his fence is still up. Is he not telling you something? He's certainly telling me something. Okay. You raised two, two points. Uh, um, one is the, the situation with the footpath. Um, it's my understanding on the information I received this evening from a hopefully a very reliable source in Mrs. Parker. That there's only one piece of one obstacle in place, and they can be served with a notice if they don't move that within seven days. That's the understanding I have. I'm not passing that understanding on, and of course I can't vouch for it. The second issue is the issue of the land. As you know, the land swap has been going on for a number of years, for whatever reason, and my understanding is that Mr. Parker and his staff attended a meeting with a certain kind of council. And at that meeting, the, the view of Mr. Parker, who, as you say, gave a lot of his time and energy to that request, was the land swap as it was being proposed, which is not necessarily how it's being represented by some people now, but as it is being proposed and is being legally documented, should go ahead. Yeah. Now, that's the situation that I understand. I was not on the right council for that. I'm taking the information that I have from what I consider to be reliable sources. Now, do you disagree that Mr. Parker said that? Well, that, was, that was eight years ago. I, it was, but the land hasn't changed now. The, the land hasn't changed. No, but you've told this thing. That man, what he did, Yeah. 
And it was through the coach cast. Okay, okay. I'm giving you the reason that was agreed eight years ago. I'm sorry, we have to move on with the people who have other issues that they want to call on. Well, I have a solicitor myself on this. Okay. Yes, we have to move on. Sorry. Apologies for last time. I had no idea that was going to be the next part of the meeting, but yes, sorry. Please continue. Can I ask the chair to please stay where the caption is decided to lawfully increase the allotment rates by the people? Okay. You did raise this last time. Is that this all correct in mass? It's 200 percent. Secondly, the £10, £20 increase is 200%, not 100%. Oh, yeah. okay. it's, 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 yeah. it's a significant amount. Yeah. It hasn't been increased for 20 years. For the last four years, you might have been writing the numbers, the income that we have has been less than the expenditure that we put onto the, onto the, uh, uh, onto the allotments. And as such, it was felt we needed to do it. Prior to doing it, we tried to engage with the allotment holders and we received no response. How have we tried to engage with the allotment holders? I've invited them to the parish council. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. 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 Well, well, I think we've got to move on to the next item. Thank you. 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 We wrote all the gap, we wrote what I brought before the allotment holders, inviting them to meet with the council. There was very little response to that. Uh, if you weren't right, I apologize. Uh, and so we sorry, so to continue, the third thing we did then was to compare the rents on other allotments in the area and ours is still one of the cheaper of the rents in the area. Can we just raise a couple of issues there? Yeah. Number one, I've sent a formal communication to the council to buy the clerk, which doesn't appear on these this agenda, which I'm pretty disappointed at. Right. Okay. I'm pretty disappointed this is the second meeting I've come to and the clerk's not here and effectively the parishioners pay for it. Yeah. Don't think that's great service at the moment. Against, on the allotment, if you actually look, I'm a tenancy holder on the allotment, so I'm protected under the 1999 protection uh, consumer contract regulation, which protects me against large increases in rent. 100%, 200%, 300%, call it what you like. <laughs> I think that's a large increase in the rent. Okay, so I'm protected under that. If you actually go, I'm also uh, protected under the Discrimination Act, which makes, I would assume, that when you get to item 10 on your agenda, or the Bowls Club rent, the 200%, if that's correct, on £140, makes that, what, to £320? So I presume their rent will go up to £320. I presume the football club's rent has gone up by similar amounts. If you bother to go onto Google and type in large increases in allotment rent, you'd be surprised at what you found. And it's gone to the High Court at North, uh, from Leeds, where 700% was tried to put on the allotment rent, and it was kicked out as being unfair and illegal. So again, I come back to my original question. Can the Chairman please explain why the councillors decided to unlawfully Increase the allotment rates by 300%. To be equally nice, because we don't think it's fair that the rest of the parish should continue to subsidise the allotment holders. So we subsidise the bulk of 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 the Have you seen the accounts for the bulk of the I've gone through the minutes, and it's clear in there that the council gives subsidies to other amenities in the village. Yes, it does. So, so you think. So, 200, 300 percent, whatever it is, that's fair increase in rent, is it? No, what I'm saying no, is no, 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 <laughs> that's a no. Yes. 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 Hey. Fraud. Is it not possible to make rats when I'm his camera? I'm sure he has. He's been on YouTube for an hour. eBay. <laughs> Council tax went up 200%. I bet there'd be more than about 30 others or whatever. Yeah. That's a price for going. The line in their own pockets. No other don't want to fund. Yeah. 300%? That's disgusting. I hope I'm not recording this. <laughs> Who are you in conspiracy with to defraud your local village? Where's the money going? How much has gone in your pocket? 
Well, where's the money going? If you would allow me to speak, I can just try to interrupt you with your wants to address the public, that's fine. In 2014, we spent £285 on the allotment. Oh, that was on the work, drive work, around the mow. Right, okay. In 230, and our income is 220. So the money I put in my pocket was minus 65 pounds, had I even considered that good. Okay, I'll answer your question. In 2013, we spent 196 pounds on money, plus repairs to the child of 120. So that year, our expenditure was 360, and again, our income was 200. So we lost 96 pounds. So the, the, the parishioners who are sitting here, we don't have a lot of Excuse me, I'll ask you to speak. Could you ask me to speak? It's rude, isn't it? Woo! We spent the people who want to speak, and we are legally required to limit the speaking to 15 minutes. So, whilst you might be enjoying your time and coming back, I might be doing my own In 2011, we spent 195 pounds and a further 200 pounds on both. So, 400. So over the last three years, can you go back further than that? So after the, over the last three years, we subsidised the the parishioners of this village have subsidised the allotment holders to the tune of four hundred pounds. So what we should have done, you're quite right, right, what we should have done is that around two thousand, we should have started putting up the rent, okay, and you would be out of pocket. Okay, so I what I like to, it's so very interesting that how many times you in pocket. You are now threatening the council with legal action, no, no, with high court actions, because so that's what that money. No, 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 I'm not saying it's a mistake. Does that work? Okay. Is anybody else who's got any other views? This lady, right? this lady at the back, this lady at the back. Uh, sorry. Yes, sir. Um, Two months ago, I gave you a request asking about the, if the pothole could be amended uh, at the bottom of Trent Avenue. Nothing's been done. And as you come round now, it's dangerous to cyclists, and not only for that, for people walking. Get round the oaks, I see they've done all the drives, marvellous. Yet we can't get our footpaths mended or the potholes mended. I was told in the next financial year, this is two years ago, they've got no money left, but in the next financial year, they do the footpaths along where we live. Nothing came, nothing's come again last year. But now they spent all that money doing all those people's drives on the front. Nobody walks, that's not a footpath. The footpaths down Twyford Road are terrible, the potholes. I know, we'll, we'll write to the county council again. Oh dear. Well, Martin Ford's not here tonight, he's at Finden, otherwise I would have had a word with him. Yeah, yeah, Martin's. But it's, this will be the third, this is the third month now, and nothing's been done. Right. Well, that's the county council. Well, it's passion the book, in it? I won't hold your breath, love. <laughs> <laughs> Back, if I may, to the uh, matter of the allotment, <coughs> it's quite right the council did write to the majority. I can only say the majority. I certainly have that, sir. The reason I didn't respond was because it didn't clearly say what the agenda would, was. Had it been, had I known that it was with a view to discussing increasing the rents, I think you would have probably had 18 uh, allotment holders would have turned up, which would have been the total. What I feel happened, and I have written to you about this in the report, and um, gave me a lengthy reply, which well, I really didn't accept at all. But I was too polite to tell you we took a load of nonsense. Um, what you should have done was sort the opinions. And, and if you want to meet me, put an agenda out too, so we all knew what we were going to discuss. I personally don't have any objection to the council increasing the rents. What I do object to is the amount of the increase in one go. I made this quite clear to you. If you really don't want to see the parish council at a loss, but things have been done properly. And I don't think they were done properly. Okay. The other point that I mentioned was here the 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 on rents in other uh, villages. Refugee of Sound Road, they charged £38 a pot uh, in Eckwall in, from October last year and £48 a pot. So that's the situation. I did write you a lengthy letter. I invited you to respond to that. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
one on behalf of the Arsenal Holders. And I think in theory, you did not invite me. I'm a no representative of the Arsenal Holders. No. I thought I responded on their behalf. Maybe they wrote the letters and didn't post them. <laughs> There's a guy who's hand up here in case you can't see him. It's like, I know it's not noticeable, but... If we, you know, if we were sort of arguing about parishioners subsidising the allotments, can I ask how much we pay for dog poo in town, please? Because I haven't got a dog and I'm not prepared to subsidise that. <laughs> well done, well said. <coughs> how much do we pay for the dog poo in? I don't have that information. What a surprise. <laughs> but why don't you adjourn the meeting until you have got the information? So how can you get to a resolution of the allotments? It's illegal. You, you can't go Google it. It took you about 30 seconds. Seems like you're about to not use an ashtray on a motorbike. If I'm not looking at a resolution to my question, what's the point of me turning up and asking? Well, I suppose I'm missing something. I think you've already written to the council saying you've only paid your own, you've only so far paid this rent until you get a resolution, you're not going to pay the rent you're asking for. So we'll need to decide what we're going to do about it. He's trying to get a resolution now. No, he's got a resolution. No, he's trying to get a resolution. The rent has gone off by 200%. Mm -hmm. So it is now still cheaper than either of the joining conditions. What's that? Is there any information that you haven't got back to them today? You haven't got the information now. You can get it back to them. Is that the information that you just said you didn't have? That's not the only thing. That's not the only thing. That's not the only thing. I'd like to see the accounts for all the um, expenditure on amenities in the village, the football club, the bowls club, dog food bins, bins, benches, you name it. Can I ask you your name for the minute so that you can respond to it? Yeah, it's also Swain. Swain. Swain the Riverbank. Sorry? Swain the Riverbank. I'll give you my email address as well, I should have refused that. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not prepared, at least on YouTube. Man. <laughs> eBay. <laughs> eBay. <laughs> We're not filming. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> okay, we'll move on. And I'll, I'll close the meeting to the public and we'll carry on with the remaining items. Is that picture uh, I'm sorry for that. We're we're no, journeying. I'm just, I'm just going to what you put in. Uh, no public allowed to speak. When they bring something up, they ask a question, and we are able, or you are able, to write it to answer it. No, so the parish council. Now that we're not able to do that. No, I'm just saying I don't have the information. I'm not prepared to answer it. Also, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very sorry, but the uh, meeting has completely adjourned. Right, okay. Yeah. None of the other parish councils in this area object to the building. And it was made quite clear... You haven't got a choice whether you object or not. It's not your decision. You're not a dictatorship! <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? Hand off it, huh? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> We've already established that you're not members of the public while you're sat there, so we can can we please get on with this? Yeah. You are members of the council, yes? You're not members of the public while you're sat in those chairs. We've established that, now let's just get on with this. Why is Williamson the only parish council in the area with this stance? They're all the other parish councils are proud to be there, they're on the building. That's shocking, really. Absolutely, Absolutely yeah, shocking. Well, Maybe we need then. some young blood in this council. <laughs> yeah, the meeting is closed. Uh, these are actually private branches, so I'd ask all the public to leave, please. It's a public meeting. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm ranting in a key, yeah? <laughs> I'd like to say that you actually worse than Nottingham City Council and the County Council because they've been hiding paedophiles for years. So what have you got to hide? What have you got to hide? Are they all in it together? It would appear so. Why can't you answer a question? Because it's not in their interest. Security. Anybody with cameras coming in the fence, then, aren't they? If you, if you take my photo. Yeah, but this is, this, is just, this is recording for security purposes. Right, I don't like it. I don't get it for. Yeah, but I don't wish to way. be recorded by yeah, anybody. Fine, fine. I'm a member of the public. Yeah, but if you're in the public, you are automatically. You have the right to film. Because you're in the public, sir. So. It's just for safety. 
Then, even, then they can't threaten, say one thing, they said this and they said that and they said the other. He doesn't like being filmed either. Buy some of these. Who's she? Anyone in particular? Um, Matt will tell you. Yeah. Who was it who abused uh, Pat? The people that abused her last week. Which council was it, do you know? to say to him, bring it on. Yeah, well he's learned, he's like posting video on YouTube, eBay. Yeah, <laughs> Do you want to ask him if he wants to go on video? <laughs> go on. He doesn't mind. He doesn't they stand on this side. Well, the other thing is, none of them done a choice, are they? They're in the public. In the public. Uh, are they in homosexual relationships that, uh, that they're trying to hide from their wives? Maybe. Who knows? 
if they are, then you know that's fine. I would hang around here in case they. <laughs> I don't go around here in case they start meeting up again if we're all pissed off. They'll no, well, no, we're not going anywhere yet. We've got the fucking building now. Do <laughs> these people get what we're doing? Is this a dictatorship? He do not like me filming yeah. that one. He's very speaking to him last week. Blackmail. Where's that lady? Joining Anonymous! Yeah, no, we don't want these bastards though. <laughs> Councillors have requested not to be videoed. Unlucky. What have they got to hide? <laughs> What's in their closets? <laughs> it's all coming out now, isn't it, Mickey? Yeah. They can run, but they can't hide. 